thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy to be here, although it's a, a sad occasion to be here, with the potential closure of the Scranton State School for the Deaf. Uh, I was notified in December that there was going to be a, a, a cut in the funding for the Scranton State School for the Deaf, and I know that there were mandates that were sent out to the administration here at the Scranton State School for the Deaf from the Secretary of Education, Dr. Zahorchak. Those mandates were met, they were complied with, the administration saved $3 million and through some uh, creative thinking they were going to lease out some of the properties to some private concerns, try to make some money, try to cut back in certain areas and still provide the same kind of quality education that's been provided here at the Scranton State School for the Deaf for the past 129 years. The reply to those mandates uh, was not met with any response. The only response to the meeting of those mandates and to the response to the mandates uh, to the Secretary of Education, the only response was the Tuesday night, the night before the governor's budget address that the school is going to be closed. I found out uh, the morning of the governor's address in a, in a meeting with representatives from the, uh, Depar the Department of Education that the school funding was not going to be just cut, but it was going to be completely eliminated. That was the first time that I was made aware that the funding for the Scranton State School for the Deaf was going to be completely eliminated. That news was very shocking and it was completely unacceptable to me. I had many questions for the two representatives who met with me in my office in Harrisburg to explain that the funding was going to be going to be completely eliminated. The questions I had could not be answered. So I set up a meeting with the Northeast delegation, with my colleagues down in Harrisburg, to ask some questions of the Secretary of Education. Once again, the questions with regard to why a decision was made to close the school could not be answered. There were financial questions that were raised. There was, a, there was the issue of the cost to educate uh, special needs hearing impaired students. And of course it's going to be significantly high because there's, there's some uh, technology and there's some specialists that have to be in place to make sure that these educational needs are met. The educational cost at the Western School for the Deaf out in Pittsburgh far exceed the educational cost here at the Scranton State School for the Deaf. These issues have to be discussed. When I asked the Secretary of Education what the projected cost and investment in educating these special needs hearing impaired students, what that cost would be next year, he didn't have an answer as far as what the projected cost would be. My question to him then was, then why are we having this conversation? If there was no study, if there was no uh, research, and if there's no transition in place to take care of these students, are we really meeting their needs? No, we're not. And that has to be the number one priority. I've only been in Harrisburg a short time. I was only sworn in in January. And at times, there's certain issues that are going to be of such a magnitude that they're going to put me at odds with the governor and with, at times, the Democrats uh, in Harrisburg. That's not my intention. I want to work together with the governor. I want to work together with the Democratic caucus, with the Republican caucus, with the senators in Harrisburg to make sure we can work through this issue. I've been meeting with top Rendell aides for the past several weeks in order to try to work through this problem. I was given, I was given assurance by a top Rendell aide, Secretary Crawford, that they will take a closer look at this. I asked that the administration take some money from some of the non-preferreds that they're giving to some of the colleges that are cash fat, that have money, that have hundreds of millions of dollars in endowment funds, and put some of that money towards researching a better option and a better solution for the students here at the Scranton State School for the Deaf. I won't speak long, but I will tell you one thing. I made a commitment to the faculty, to the students, to the parents, to the alumni, 
and to the Board of Trustees here at the Scranton State School for the Deaf to do everything within my power to fight to keep that school open. My commitment is just as strong, my resolve is just as strong, and I will do everything I possibly could do to ensure that the Scranton State School for the Deaf remains open. Because we have to make sure the students here at the Scranton School for the Deaf are first. That's our number one priority. Because if we're not taking care of special needs students, if we're not taking care of the students here at the Scranton State School for the Deaf, as public officials, we are failing. And I refuse to fail. Thank you.